Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, standing in the blue corner, making his MMA debut tonight, fighting out of Juan Fight Team, Las Vegas, Nevada, he is Justin Eber. Standing across the cage in the red corner, with no wins and three losses, fighting out of North LA Boxing, right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Jamin Tayaba. Referee in charge of the action is Mike Belcher. I jump have been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Tough scuffs now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out and handle your business. Let's go, guys. All right, Jamin Tayaba is in the white tights. Justin Ebert got the black and white trunks. A couple bantamweights here mixing it up at Tough Enough Fighting Championships. Touch of hands, and here we go. Oh, nice strike by Taiba. Wow. Whoa. A lot of quickness in his hands. Oh. These guys are mixing it up. He's like a, little, like a little Mike Tyson type mixed with the... Yeah, exactly. Oh, Whoa. that left hand nice. is landing over and over, over for Taiba. King Mo, should he be doing that or should he keep striking? Well, <laughs> well I guess the world becomes natural. He's out there. He's up. Relax, well, relax. I like this. He did the right thing. <laughs> he's in the mount now. He's, yeah, he's got it's him in the mount. He's at Mike Zambiz with the Mike Tyson. But he's given Justin Ebert a chance to recover, right? It looked uh, like he really had Ebert hurt. I, I think that he's even being. Well, oh, okay. Well. Stay on top. Stay on top. Ebert reverses the position. Now he's on top. Taiba with a butterfly guard. I would say Justin Ebert has his wits back. Now let's see what he does with this top position. Softening him up a little bit on the side. You know, it's going to take a lot for him to come back and win this round, I think. Okay, Mo looks like he's getting tied up there, huh? Yeah, he's tied up. And, uh, he really, he has, to, he has to come up with some type of, you know, um, Tayeba, Tayeba, uh, ta just Jam, I don't know, I can't say his name. Jamin Tayeba. <laughs> Jamin Tayeba is uh, doing a Let's just right call him thing. JT. JT's doing a perfect thing. Tying him up, keeping his head down, control his posture. Uh, just needs to get his head up and bring his hips down, but there's nothing he can really do. You know? What's the name of that wrestling hold he's got him in there right now, Kimo? You know, I, it's, not, it's a grappling hold. I don't know what it is. It's definitely putting pressure on his neck. Because the thing is, in, in wrestling, that the, the top guy, actually, um, JT would be getting pinned in the near fall. Right. But this is, oh, this is, I'll tell you this. It looks Justin's painful, neck though. is probably sore right now. Yeah. It's like a modified crucifix. Remember Kitioka, not Kitioka, but uh, Eddie Alvarez fought, um, with a, fought that guy in Dream. The guy had his neck. He's got to do the little toe kick to deliver. I forgot his name. I, I know that Eddie Alvarez fought... Uh, his last fight, the guy had him in a modified he, crucifix. He's, he's fought Aoki and he's fought uh, Kawajiri, but... No, there's another guy um, with the toe kick, the kick to the ribs. Big okay. shout out to DJ. Well, I'll tell you Desi what, that was an exciting first house. round. Real exciting. JT brings it, man. And, and I'll tell you what, that left hand was on point. He hit Ebert's jaw quite a few times. Ebert's going to have to make some kind of adjustment because that left hand landed repeatedly. Now. Yeah, it, it looks like that speed's going to be a, a, a big problem for him. Ebert seems to be recovering well, as does Teiba, as he's getting his instructions there from the corner. What an explosive fighter that guy is. Yeah, yeah I think Kingmo described it perfectly. Mike Tyson, you know, Mike Tyson would come in, duck, and you just didn't know which poison was coming your way, but you knew when it hit, it was going to hurt. Well, what do you tell Ebert? I mean, this guy's going to come out quickly, like lightning king mode. Should he be looking for a takedown, maybe? He's looking for a takedown. Close the distance as soon as possible. Stay on the outside, but really, uh, I close the distance. I, yeah. I don't know where I'd tell him, really. You know, Take him down. He is just eating that big left hand. Right there, yep. Now take him down. Soften him up before you take him down or just take him down? Take his ass down. <laughs> That's what the referee, that's what the coaches are saying. Well, they're clinched, and JT's not making it easy for him, that's for sure. Keep the pressure against the cage. What? Knees, legs, Justin. Ebert pressuring JT. Couple knees there to the inside and outside of JT's legs. JT looks like he just wants to maybe tie him up and create a, 
a situation hey, for the referee to just referee to just separate them. But see, this is the smart thing that Justin's doing. Yes, yes. This pace right here, knee, knee. Again, any type of grueling, knee. grinding he type pace, Justin always knee. affects He's to an right. explosive He's athlete. Okay. Slows him right. down. Makes you tighter so where you can't explode. And I'll tell you what, he's, uh, JT's got that compact body. Looks like he's got heavy hips. It's not going to be easy to get taken down. And he looks comfortable there. But he's losing the round. 47 seconds left here. I, I, think, I think these strikes are starting to get to him a little bit. He's starting to defend him. He's, been, he's grimacing a little bit on some of them. What's the worst you've ever hurt with a foot stomp, uh, King Mo? Never. Anyone get you? <laughs> no, I've never been, never been foot stomped before. Uh, ever at all? No, nope. We got Have you ever foot stomped anybody? Nah. 20 seconds left here in round two of this Bantam weight encounter between Justin Ebert and JT, a.k.a. Jamin Teeba. These last 10 seconds could be key. And I'll tell you what, that big left hand just keeps finding its mark. Now, Ebert's covering up a little bit. That last one got deflected, but... He reminds me of a little Pacquiao for some reason. <laughs> he's a southpaw. He's real kind of jumpy and really explosive with his punches. He sure does. He's an exciting guy. Really, really tough guys here. I'll tell you what, man. My hat, my hat's off to Ebert because he got hit on the square on the jaw a few times. I want to see him fight for Rob Muhammad. Yeah, yeah that'd, that'd be, be a good one. <laughs> I wonder who, like, you know, for someone that's 0-3, who are the guys that beat him? These guys must have been some wrestlers, jiu-jitsu guys that took him down to control him. His favorite fighter, we're talking about Jamin Taeba, is Jose Aldo. Justin Ebert's favorite fighter is Junior DeSantos. I'll tell you what, man, he does look like a Nova Uniao product over there. You know, Justin Ebert controlled most of that round, but he just wasn't landing the way uh, Taiba was. So you got to give that round to Taiba. I do. I got a 2018 Taiba. I got one more. Just off of this, you know, I feel like uh, uh, Justin did more, did more, a little more damage. Uh, not more damage, but had more control of the fight. Of that round. Here we go with you give, uh, you give Ebert two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one, goes. Well, how about that? These hey, Justin's landing really back, back now. Like it, yeah. He's making a fight out of it. Take it, down, snake it. Go, now let's see if he gets the takedown. He's getting a little deeper. I'll tell you, man, tiba has got some good hips, good balance. Now let's see if he pops back up. He does get taken down. But he gives up his back in the process. Nice head toss. Hip toss heading on. Yeah. Why usually it doesn't, it doesn't work. It usually doesn't work because guys can escape from the back. But he went straight to mount. You know, I think it came in the nick of time, too, because it looked like Justin was maybe going to jump on his back, latch on. And at that point, I think he needs a submission here. Well, he's got great position if he wants to unleash some ground and pound. Ebert looks like he's more interested in just tying him up and creating a situation for referee Beltran to maybe get a stand-up. But the clock is ticking, and there's less than a minute left here in round three. If the judges see it like King Mo saw round two, he could possibly win the fight, but he's got to close strong. JT wanted to get back to his feet anyway. I don't think JT has to be on the ground. He's out. He's Savage out. Green he's out. Fight. fight needs to be stopped, and it is. Good stop. Wow. What an exchange, and what the, a great follow up ground and pound by JT, a.k.a. Jamin Teeba, who now goes to one and three. Justin Ebert. Is 0 and 1, but I'll tell you what, that was one hell of a debut for Justin Ebert. Great fight, huh? All right, here's the replay, and as you can see, you can tell he gets, he walks in and gets hit by yet another hook. Except this time, the damage was done. He falls on top of him, falls up with some ground and pound. The referee has no choice but to stop it. A couple of those got him on the side of the head and. Boy, the, ref the fighters can be just as susceptible in that area. Nice sportsmanship between both fighters. And I'm sure we'll see both of these in the Tough Enough cage in the future. We're going to send it up to Justin Bernard for the official announcement.
Ladies and gentlemen, after a minute 19 into the third round, your winner by TKO, the red corner, Jamin Tayaba! Jamin Tayaba is your winner. Again, he goes the one and three, and I'll tell you what, he put on quite a performance. I want to remember his name. How about you guys? Jamin, 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 Jamin. <laughs> Good name. It was an exciting fight.